what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to be learning how you can bring in lottie animations into your swift ui app so here on the right we've got the canvas and uh, in the preview we see that we have this animation that's actually even showing up here which is pretty darn cool um, now there is not first party support for lottie and swift ui so we do have to jump through a few hoops but fear not that's what we're going to learn in this video so, uh, so yeah, that said, make sure you destroy the like button. As per usual for the YouTube algorithm, get excited, get Xcode open, get ready. Let's talk about some Lottie animations in SwiftUI. Quick pause before the video. This video is brought to you by iosacademy.io. If you're interested in building some of the top apps from around the world, like YouTube, Instagram, Uber, and Facebook, head on over to iosacademy.io and toss in your email in the waitlist form here to be notified as content becomes available. Content includes interview prep, free courses, premium content, how to build TikTok, Messenger, Instagram, and anything else you could think of in between. That said, let's get into the video. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project here. We wanna stick with the app template under the iOS tab, and let's go ahead and give this a project name of SwiftUI Lottie animations just like that make sure your uh, life cycle and interface here are swift ui and your uh, language is swift go ahead and continue and we'll save this to our desktop i've got a same named uh, folder so i'm just going to go ahead and replace it just like that and let's go ahead and expand our xcode window hit this button to load up our preview and then we'll talk about the steps we need to get lottie animations working so Lottie animations do not have first party support for Swift UI, so we need to create a custom view. So let's uh, write out the things we need to do to get Lottie working. So of course we need to bring in Lottie library. We need to create custom reusable view and we need to update some project settings. So uh, let's start knocking these out one by one. So of course let's bring in the Lottie library so you can just Google for Lottie iOS and you'll find the GitHub page under the Airbnb uh, org. I'm also going to link this down below, but go ahead and copy that uh, repo URL. Come back to your project and go to file. And we're going to bring this in via Swift packages. So Swift packages, uh, add package. Go ahead and paste that URL right there. You can leave all of this stuff as is. It just pulls in the latest version. Go ahead and continue and they might download it for you. I already have downloaded it prior, so it's much quicker. But uh, once you've done that, you have brought in Lottie, super simple. The next thing we wanna do, if we come back to this, is set up a custom Lottie view, but actually let's do this update project setting thing first to get it out of the way. So let's go to our project up here and select our app target. And right up here, we wanna to go to build settings and from the search box, search for uh, the word dead, and you'll find the setting dead code stripping. Uh, in Lottie support for Swift UI, you need to set this to no, otherwise you're gonna see a crash occurring, but um, setting this to no is not really you know, a huge deal. Go ahead and set that to no, and let's go back to our content view. And the last thing we need to actually do is set up a custom uh, reusable view. And actually the fourth thing we'll need is to bring in some dope animations. Um, so we'll do that, do that at the very end so we can actually see what we've built. But uh, let's go ahead and create a new file here. So we're gonna create a custom Lottie view. I'm gonna stick with a Swift file so it'll be blank. We'll type all our code together. So here we're gonna say Lottie view. And the first thing we wanna do is uh, import three things. So we want Lottie, of course. We're gonna want Swift UI. And we're also going to want UI kit. Go ahead and hit uh, command B after you've typed all that out to make sure everything is still compiling. Now we want to create a custom Lottie view that we can use in Swift UI. It needs to uh, inherit from UI view representable. And once you've done that, you're going to see an error pop up here. We're just going to click this and hit fix and it'll stub out the things it wants. So it wants the type and the type is going to be a UI view just like that. And once you've done that, you're still gonna see this error, hit this. And there are two functions that you need to bring in. So hit the fix button, it'll bring them in. I'm gonna paste them down here uh, just to make it a little cleaner. And uh, we're not gonna put anything 
uh, in this uh, update function. So I'm just going to say do nothing. And in this one, we want to first start by creating a UI view that's going to actually wrap our animation. The frame is going to be zero, and we're going to say return that UI view. And in the middle here, we are going to add the animation in just a moment. Uh, let's go ahead and update this context thing. So this should be a UI view uh, representable context. And it's generic. So in here, we're going to say Lottie view just like that. And let me also update this down below in this function, even though we're not updating it. And uh, let's set up our Lottie view. So we basically use UI view representable to plumb through any, you know, vanilla Swift UI kit views that Swift UI doesn't support, you know, out of the box. So right here, we're going to create an animation view, which is going to be a simple animation view provided courtesy of Lottie. Uh, let's see, we're going to want to add this as a sub view to our view. Animation view, just like that. And we're going to want to assign some properties to this. So one of them is going to be uh, the loop mode. We are going to say it is going to loop. We're going to want to say play on this. We're also going to want to say the content mode is scale aspect fit. So it doesn't distort anything. And uh, most important of all, we want to actually set the animation. We're going to say animation uh, named. And we're going to call it loading. We have not brought this in yet, but we will bring it in. Uh, courtesy of lottiefiles.com. You can come here and make a free account and download a bunch of animations. I'll link that down below as well. But uh, we're not just quite done yet. Now that we've created this and uh, you know added it, we also want to uh, add some constraints on the Lottie view. So we're going to first say uh, translates uh, auto resizing masks constraints uh, to false. And then we just want to assign it the same width and height as the container view. So I'm going to say NS layout constraints. And we want to activate some constraints. And as mentioned, we're going to say the width and height. So I'm going to say the width anchor uh, constraint. Let's see, constraint. And we want equal to this one right here. It's going to be equal to the views width anchor put a comma, copy and paste it, and we're gonna just say height anchor. And now this one will also just be height anchor for the animation view. And uh, that's all we need in here actually, before we bring in our, uh, you know, Lottie animation. So let's go back to our content view. And let me go ahead and get rid of all this. And right in here, I'm gonna go ahead in our content view, we're gonna drop in a navigation view. So it's a little more organized and nice. We're going to have a nice vertical stack with a navigation title on it. I'm going to call this uh, Swift UI Lottie. And we can now use that new view we created called Lottie View. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a frame uh, 250 by 250. And alignment will be centered. Uh, and just for the sake of seeing it, we're just going to go ahead and give this a background color of red. And we should see a red square pop up in the middle. We want this to be background. Let's try that one more time. Back, round, and we want this to be color dot red, just like that. And we should see our square pop up here in just a moment. Once I hit uh, the button to resume up here on our preview. In a second, uh, while it actually does load that, what you can head on over and do is go to lottiefiles.com and I'm gonna download uh, let's see, this one looks kind of cool. So we're going to click on this. We'll hit download. We'll say Lottie JSON, which is one of the options in here. And it downloaded it right down here on the left. Let's drag it to my desktop. I'm going to rename this to be loading. Let's come back to this side. And we're just going to drag this in just like that. Make sure this is checked to copy it to the project if needed. And uh, this loading.json is in now. And if we come back to our custom Lottie view file that we made, uh, you'll see we actually do use loading in here. And uh, we should be able to see this now in our live preview. So I'm going to get rid of the background color here. We are going to hit resume. We actually need to be in a live preview to see it. But what you'll see right out of the gate is you see the animation, but it's, of course, not playing. Let's hit that little play to get the live preview. And, uh, and boom, you've got a Lottie animation in your Swift UI app. So we could, in fact, of course, make this a little smaller. 
since it's a little little large there you'll see it changes just like that and right now we've actually hard coded that loading file name in here so let's go ahead and make this component reusable um, so all we really need to do to make it reusable is pass in or have the ability to pass in a different file name so i'm going to make that a file name and that is simply going to be file name up here which will be a string just like that and wherever you're using the view now so in our content view we'll need to pass in the file name so here we will pass in loading hit resume one more time since our uh, seems like our preview freaked out and everything is still working as expected and uh, before we wrap up here let me grab one more animation and make sure that it's truly reusable so i'm just going to grab this one let's go ahead and download and let me go ahead and rename this one to be loading two we'll come back to the project and drag this guy in doesn't matter where you put it make sure this is checked and it's in our project now let me update this to be loading two go ahead and stop that live preview hit resume so our preview like together uh, looks like it's still using that other one and it went away let me hit uh, that sometimes it does the preview here does some uh, weird stuff where one animation might show up but the other might not but make sure everything is named correctly uh, most of them should work as expected so loading to loading to sometimes they're just weird and don't show up so run it in a simulator but um, nevertheless that's how you create a uh, reusable lottie animation see that now the loading one isn't even showing up but um, I digress. I'm not going to sit here and make you guys wait uh, for the preview to load, but that's how you create um, and bring in a Lottie animation into your Swift UI app. So not a lot of code. Just to recap, we have this custom Lottie view struct. It inherits from UI view representable. It wraps a UI view, which in turn wraps a animation view provided by the Lottie framework. And uh, we brought in the Lottie framework via Swift packages under file. You can see uh, in here we have uh, our add package dependency that we use to bring it in. And uh, we also created a file name here where we can pass in the Lottie file name. So there you have it. Swift UI meets Lottie. Uh, go crazy. If you haven't hit the like button already, make sure to do so. Help us out with the video and channel. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of Swift UI and this whole UI view representable business to kind of tie it with other components like Lottie. And uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you found this useful. Hit subscribe to join the iOS community here. Uh, hit that bell icon to get notifications for whenever a new upload goes up. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.